Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Hopper Realtors. Today I'm at the community of Sabina's Creek Ranch in Bernie, Texas. This is a multi-acre lot community, but we're not here just for the community. We're here for this builder. Uh, this is a new, relatively new builder called Whiskey Barrel Homes. I absolutely love the name of this company. Uh, these guys are great and uh, they are a full custom home builder. And most custom home builders do not actually have a model home. So I'm not here to video this house getting ready to close because people don't buy what they don't see. So hopefully me doing this video tour for them will get it into their, give them ability to show off this to any potential clients. Anyways, like I said, full custom builder, let's go check them out. Now this is their Stella plan. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, three car garage home with about 2,600 square feet. And like I said before, built by Whiskey Barrel Homes. Absolutely love, love that name, like I said before. But this is a wonderful community. Uh, you're a little bit out in the country. You do need a well to be in this community, but mostly lots around three to five acres. It's not gonna be a real loud and rambunctious neighborhood because yeah, this is definitely out here, but beautiful. But this, is a, I really do like a lot of things about this builder. Uh, their average cost for building a home as of late July, 2023, is right around $250 a square foot. That's very reasonable, but it also gives you the ability to do full custom. And this home, when we see inside, there's not gonna be a lot of upgrades to it. So this is very standard of what you're gonna get if you use Whiskey Barrel Homes to build your home. All right, I love that front entrance area. All right, let's head on inside and check out this house. All right, we got a special treat for you guys too. If you're not familiar with this builder, we actually have the owner of the company inside. He's gonna tell a little bit about himself and uh, his company. So I'll let you guys go in and introduce yourself. Hey, uh, my name is Paul Ainsley. Uh, I'm the owner of Whiskey Barrel Homes and this is my wife, Carmen Ainsley. Whiskey Barrel Homes? There's Miss Carmen. <laughs> And so just a little bit uh, about uh, the company in general. Uh, we're uh, uh, building with full custom capabilities. Uh, this happens to be one of our plans. This is a Stella plan, so it's right around 2,600 square feet. Uh, so we do things a few different ways. We have the capability to do full-on custom design and build. Uh, we can build our plans that are on our website, and we can also do inspiration plans where we take some of our plans and modify them. Uh, we specialize in building on uh, lots that people already own. They're called boils, build on your own lot. Uh, but we've got some properties as well if somebody wanted to turn key build service. Uh, but welcome to our home. Let's provide an opportunity to kind of walk you through a little bit and show you what we're all about. There we go. All right, I'm excited to show off this home. Like you said, they got their whole website here, whiskeybarrel.com, whiskeybarrelhomes.com. So yeah, let's look around and check out this beautiful house. This can be the main living space. I absolutely love the tall A-frame ceiling they have up, so up top. Got the big old fan up there. And they got a lot of barn doors in this house that are really nice. I love the barn door look. The flooring in here is gonna be a ceramic wood looking tile. So very, very pet friendly. <clears throat> um, I was talking to them earlier, it's like this is very minimum upgrades in this house. This is a lot of their standard features. And you can go fancier if you want by going to the design center. So really cool little office there. I love, love the location of this tree kind of right outside this office. Now this home is getting ready to close. I think they're scheduled to close in the next two days. So I'm excited to get in here and show this community off. Well, show this builder off. That goes all the way up. All right, back on this side of the house, we do have our secondary bedrooms. They got the eight foot tall, doors in here. So yeah, they, if you've got a lot, they can definitely come out of the area. Good size closet, kind of goes around there a little bit. Oh, it feels so nice in here. It's not as bad today. I think we're like 97 degrees here in Texas as I'm filming this late July, 2023. Love the tile they put it in the floor there. But yep, a little tile work. They really went a little jacuzzi tub in the uh, bathroom here. And we got this bedroom right here as well. Remember this is a three bedroom house. 
So 2,600 square foot is gonna be on the smaller side compared to what you see in a lot of these communities, but I'm seeing a lot more people kind of not wanting the giant house. Cause that's more house you've got to maintain. So I've been getting some requests for the 26 to 3000 square foot homes, just because it's so much easier to maintain versus a 3,800 square foot home. All right, let's go check out the laundry room and the closet. You know what? I haven't even shown off this kitchen yet. This is a beautiful kitchen. This, they do have gas in this community, in this builder. Like I said, it's KitchenAid appliances. So it's not the wolf and anything, but you're also not paying $400 a square foot or $350 a square foot. Their price point on average, depends on what you put in the house. Like I said, it's about $250 a square foot. Beautiful home, love the lighting features. You got the double decker ovens, microwave right over there. Let's see if I can find the pantry. We have a uh, little bathroom set up here. Okay, we got the laundry room. Now this is a beautiful laundry room. We got the sink, uh, washer and dryer hookups right there. And they got my little sneaky need, but we'll show off that a little bit later as we should look at the master bedroom. Got the mud room for when you come in from the garage. And I mentioned before, this is a three car garage. So let's check it out. It looks like they finished out the garage. Got the baseboard and the paint. Really good use of space in here. And water heater and a softener. Um, remember this community, you do have to put a well in which isn't as bad as you think. Uh, you're looking about 30,000 30, to uh, 40 or 45,000. Depends on if you're using, doing the reservoir. All right, let's go check out the outdoor area. And I uh, also want to point out the lighting. That's gonna be your formal dining room space over there, but beautiful windows in this house. Now this house can be a little bit unique uh, because the owners, well, they plan to put their hot tub on the inside here. Uh, so that's why the flooring is a little bit different. Uh, when the builder realized they didn't want to do that, they got the extra electrical put in, uh, moisture resistant uh, drywall in here because that's the last thing you want is mold. But yeah, let's go check out this. Because they know they're gonna be putting a hot tub in here, they went with kind of a bifold door. This whole wall can open up and uh, it wasn't, it was kind of the same cost as what they were gonna be putting in for the door anyways. So it's nice that the builder didn't charge them an arm and a leg to put that bifold in because a lot of builders would. But wow, this is really nice out here. I love how they carry the A-frame outside and this can be beautiful out here. So this is a really neat community if you're looking for more space. We're kind of on the northern part of Bernie. Uh, great school districts out here, but it's really beautiful. There are several communities. Uh, I'll be releasing a video pretty soon of a five acre lot community called Centennial Ridge. But if you're looking, I do a lot of one acre lot communities, but if you're looking for even bigger than that, I can definitely help you out. All right, let's head on inside and go check out the master bedroom and the bath. All right, like I said, we head to the master bedroom. Notice I didn't hit the pantry yet, so um, I haven't forgotten that. It's just on its way to the master bedroom. But well, plenty of space in here. Shush, Siri. Dang it, my watch always going off. They are in the process of putting LED lights up there. That's gonna look really, really cool. But yeah, really nice size pantry. And yep, you've got plenty of space in here. A little coat closet. And then here's the master bedroom with the French doors. So you can just walk right outside. Once again, they got the tray ceiling up top and a barn door going into the bathroom. And yeah, this is gonna be a beautiful bathroom. 
Love the tile floor in here. You have the his and her vanity. A little step down spots for a makeup desk. But it's a really cool looking shower. I do like this. We're like a no door in there. You just walk right in. Got the tile going all the way up. And check out the size of that rain head. That rain shower. There you go. But then you've got your water closet over here. And it's going into the master closet. Plenty of space in this master closet. And uh, we were having a debate between the owners of the company, the wife and the husband. Uh, me and the husband really like having this uh, door going into the laundry room. Like it's a sneaky need because you don't have to waste all the time walking around the house with a laundry basket. So let me know in the comments if you do like uh, having the door for the master bedroom closet where you can just go from here to the dryer and put your stuff away. From, from my standpoint, I love the level of efficiency that that offers. Uh, the, the wife, she was like, hey, it's no big deal, I just walk around. I'm an efficiency nut, so I like having it right there. All right, let's head on out and finish up the tour. All right, coming back in, give one last looky look from uh, the kitchen area, another door going outside. Just the beautiful A-frame ceiling in here. And yeah, I got the full open sink and KitchenAid appliances. And eventually we're gonna have a refrigerator there. All right, that's gonna do a tour of this home being built by Whiskey Barrel Homes. Remember, this is their Stella plan. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,600 square feet. They can build really anywhere in the area. If you want more information about them, either check out the website or feel free to give me a call uh, or text me, 210-254-4425. Uh, and of course, if you like this video, hit that like button. And as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.